today we are making the Great Pyramids. Well, actually, we're, we're only gonna make one of them. And also, we're gonna make it a lot smaller. Okay, so the actual Great Pyramid is 140 feet tall. My pyramid's gonna be 35 blocks tall, so it'll be closer to the size of like El Castillo in Mexico. But we shall see. I think it's gonna take a lot of blocks. Okay, so we have to look at the design. For the slopes, they had a second of five and a half palms. Oh, okay. A ratio of 14 to 11. What is palms of five and a half palms? Oh, oh, okay. So this is how they measured angles. It's about 51 point whatever degrees, 0.8. Either way, we'll keep that ratio in mind, 14 to 11. Back in the game, if we look at a ratio of 14 to 11, if we try to build a pyramid out of this, we just gotta, you know, build it like you normally would. Uh-oh. Okay, now you see the problem. We can't just like go up a staircase because the pyramid is actually a lot steeper than that. So, how the heck do we connect up these points? Well, first of all, we're gonna use math. Second of all, I have this nifty box right here, this red box. This is gonna show you where my targeted block is. And we're gonna be paying attention to the Y coordinate and the Z coordinate because we're gonna consider the Z coordinate to be our horizontal. If we look at our first block, which is at the base of the middle of the pyramid, it's at 65 and 2077. And as we walk this way, you'll notice that my Z coordinate goes down. So it goes all the way down to 2050. So the horizontal distance was about 27 blocks. To the middle, it'd be 27.5. And the uh, vertical distance, we're all the way up here at 100. So I wanna connect these two blocks together and I know both of their coordinates. Well, if only there was some kind of tool that could help us figure out what the slope of that line would be. Oh yeah, that's right, we have Desmos. So let's head to Desmos. Our first coordinate, our X was 2077, and our Y height was 65. And our second coordinate was 2050 at a height of 100. The linear regression tool, we can quickly figure out what the slope would be in the Y intercept for this line. Okay, and we find that the slope is 35 over 27, both numbers that we knew would be involved. And we get that B is 2,757.41. Okay, okay, if I plot this equation and then make a table out of that, you'll notice that all the coordinates for the blocks I have to place are fractions, all of them. And we cannot place blocks like halfway onto each other or anything like that. So we need a way to round these to the nearest whole number and luckily Desmos has that. We can just hit round. And now we have coordinates for every block that we should place. Okay, you'll notice that we're gonna start by going up one, and then we'll go up two, up one, up one, up one, up two, up one, up one, up two, up one, up one, up two, up one, up one, up one, up two, and so on and so forth until we get to the top. We're gonna go ahead and build out the first uh, slope of this structure and then we'll get to building the whole thing. Okay guys, so after all that, after following the coordinates, we have this line, which, you know, is as close as you can get to like smooth in Minecraft. I probably will add some slabs for the ones that go up too. So I have lots of sand for my sand duplicators. I seriously don't know if it's gonna be enough. So the idea is we're just gonna trace this around the whole thing and then we will have a pyramid. guys, it's time for the big reveal. We are finally done with the pyramid, and it is so majestic. Just kidding, I only did a quarter of it. Well, I just have to do that three more times, unless I can just uh, snap my fingers and do it instantly. There it is. That's right. Nope, I'm not lying. It's all four sides. They're done. However, 
Yeah, so I might get some slabs just for where it meets these big steep edges. Alrighty guys, so that's it with the slabs. The slabs have been added. Makes it a little bit smoother. Um, in general, I love how it looks. Uh, I think it's a great addition to the base. It's like right in the middle of the two Pokemon thingies. So I think that's awesome. While we do a little fly around, let's talk about some statistics. Okay, so looking at the stats. So obviously my pyramid is a little bit smaller. Well, let's check Let's check out how much smaller. The height of my pyramid is 35 meters compared to Giza at 140, which is four times bigger. If we look at their surface area, well, there's two different types. And since my pyramid is hollow, I used about 5,000 blocks, give or take. If you wanted to include the floor, it would take you twice as long, taking about 8,000 blocks. Okay, so about 5,000 blocks versus about 78,000 blocks. This is about 16 times bigger for our surface area. It's 16 times more blocks if I were to build this to actual scale, which is why I did not, because it would have taken me 16 times as long to build it. The volume uh, can be calculated with this formula. Uh, the volume of my pyramid was about 35,000 blocks compared to the massive 2 million blocks in the Great Pyramid. This is about 64 times bigger. And what's interesting about this is our scale factor goes up by increasing powers as we look at increasing dimensions. So my height is one dimensional, scale factor is four. The surface area has a scale factor of four squared because it's two dimensional, four to the power of two. And same thing, volume is three dimensional, so our scale factor is four to the power of three. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Yeah, let's just keep, keep on doing math in Minecraft. Uh, this actually came from a blog post that I found from a long time ago. I'll link it down below. Leave it down in the comments below. What do you, you want to learn next? What's next on the docket for math in Minecraft? Hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time.